So this is the portal uh, make dot power apps dot com. We are making the connection for CRM and FinOps. So we have both the connection active. Uh, one is our for dynamic decision file, and another is uh, our FinOps. So our second step would be creating connection set that we will go to the Power Air Platform Admin Portal. From there we will click on Data Integration. There we would have the two options. One is to create a new project and to make the connection set. The first step would be giving the connection set that we will use in our project. So this page is being refreshed. Uh, there was some error in fetching the connections. So we would be creating connection set again. New connection, CE Finops. Uh, put this in caps. Uh, now you can see there are two connections available. One would be CRM, other is the environment. Uh, these environments just uh, are like uh, your UAT dev production or wherever this user is set up for the CRM, that organization would be available here. Same is for FinOps, all the organization available for that user would be visible. So, yeah, I will select FinOps here. Then it will ask me to select the legal entities. Uh, like for FinOps, you know, there would be different legal entities, right? So, data integration normally one set works for one legal entity only. So, then see. And the legal entity will be zero one, and we will save our uh, connection set. So we have specified our source and destination between uh, whom, uh, which source to this destination data will flow. Now our second step would be to create the project. Yeah. Before project, we would be exploring some templates. Right? If uh, let's uh, okay, let me write here test templates choose the connection set either you create a new one from here or choose the existing one if you go to choose template you will find all the templates related to those four uh, major templates or uh, processes microsoft provided right so if you go here uh, all the templates related to these process would be available so you can select from this right if you see it uh, specify from where what is the source and what's the uh, what is the destination right it, it says here sales to finops right that means contact from sales that is ce to finops this is the template related to that and it will specify the entity names also like this sales in sales the entity name would be contacts in finops that would be the cds context so this cds context is not the main form or main entity of the finops that would be staging table kind of thing from that staging table the main entity will uh, be refreshed or the data will flow, flow there same way we have contact to customer then we have sales order pin ops to sales the sales order will flow from cds sales order header that's the staging table to sales order of uh, ce and sales order detail so this is header these are order lines so both would be included in this template uh, let us check that if we select it and click OK uh, just for the testing purposes. Let, let us select that. Seeing your project there, like the testing template. If I double, um, click on testing template, it will show me two mapping right now, two tasks. Uh, these are normally named as tasks. You can add as many number of tasks you want. You can give here add task, give a task name. And then select the entities of C and FinOps. So and then arrange the orders also. That was what would be the sequence as you can see the sequence here. So all the entities would be visible over here. Let's close this and see what what are these. So so first step you can see for sequence would be to sync the order handler as we know. Uh, the, the first thing uh, if we create a record and it has line. Line cannot be added until we create a header, right? That's obvious. So these uh, first sequence would be creating the orders. These are the mapping. The source would be our FinOps, and our destination would be CE. All the predefined and main main field could be already mapped. Whatever custom see, you know, custom field you want, 
uh, you have to build it on FinOps. You have to bring that onto the data entity in this in this, uh, this particular staging table. That is seen just sales of the header. You have to <coughs> Uh, refresh the entities from here once and those fields would be available here that that's straightforward you doesn't find any template right and you have two entities which you want to sync as a master or as a as a record but uh, those template are not available those are custom you can name it like the custom entity mapping and in the entity anything you want uh, entity name you can specify here. Choose the uh, connection set, and then choose the template. And here you will find a blank, uh, blank project. Yeah. So this is blank project you can select either finops to sales uh, that the uh, source would be finops and destination would be ce or either you can select source as a uh, ce and uh, uh, finops as a destination uh, same way let us select uh, sales from finops and click uh, okay then we'll specify the organization and that's all let us create one task yeah, name it as uh, custom and you will always find C entities on the top and then the uh, FinOps entity on the bottom specifying this is source, this is destination. Right? Uh, let me select account here and for this let me select customer. Okay. Mm, either, these are the staging, staging table. Normally we take the staging table for so we take V2 and uh, specify the organization and save so once you create a custom task right you wouldn't be finding default mapping with it you will find a task then you have to specify each mapping yourself you have to define the fields let's like suppose uh, we have account name right and then from here you will select name organization name right so as you can see there are one more thing data type right uh, it always mapped between the same data type right we have abc means uh, that's the text field is mapped with the text field if i click here you will find a different different text field like this is a date data type right then we have the, the, there could be a option set by clicks there could be a numeric right so always remember when you map it the data type should be same if we map it with a different data type and save it will provide us uh, error saying that uh, the data type is different <laughs> uh, there are advanced queries uh, you need to enable the advanced query uh, once you enable you can't disable it and advanced query would be available here but click here you will find advanced query and filtering if i click here so i'm just giving you an overview right now and we would be creating a real time scenario right uh, let's suppose account to customer there we would be using a template and all the details right that uh, what are the properties how to use all data and how to use the <coughs> these these tables and all right how to <coughs> add a new line how to add a new custom field you can say these these column you can add as a custom let's suppose you want to concatenate these two right you can do that in advanced query either you want uh, to add some conditions based on this column you can do that do do so for this column you want to add a custom uh, column saying that <coughs> uh, externally maintained right uh, you can add a custom column external maintain and default value you can give as yes and that can be mapped over to a field for, of text function. so these things you can do from that was query once a project is created in data integration the same project is imported in finops right and if we go to finops and go to data management uh, this is the data project and if you see this is the latest project which is imported and i click on it 
you will find the same entity staging entity that is customer v2 that was uh, you can say uh, that project was created here by one right so it is imported here so all the data logs all the data jobs and job history would be available here if I click on this uh, data staging table and click on job history, all the job history happen for this particular mapping would be available here. You can see it says last staging status as error. We we'll click here. So our last mapping might have run successfully, and that's the reason it uh, giving us some error. So we'll go through the uh, troubleshooting session that how troubleshooting need to happen and all in our next session. Thank you.